Yes, Father Lord, we give you praise, Lord, this morning. We adore you, Lord, our God. We thank you, Father, wonderful Lord, for this wonderful morning, Lord God Almighty. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you adoration. Lord, we thank you, Father Lord, for you alone is worthy of all our praise this morning. We adore you, our Lord and our God. We thank you, Father Lord, for being with us in the morning when we wake up. In our sleep, O oh Lord, when we are dreaming, and throughout the day, Father Lord, we thank you. Thank you, Father Lord, for never leaving us alone, for your promise never to forsake us, Lord. We thank you, Father. Even though, Lord, we may feel alone at times, but such feelings are not based on truth. Lord, we thank you. Thank you, Lord, that even in the silence, you are with us. Even when we cannot hear or see your presence, you are there. Just as your word promised us, Lord. Thank you, Father, for your presence. We shall empower us to feel, to for empower us to defeat any enemy, to overcome any obstacle, and to secure every victory in our emotion, in our finances, in our body, in our relationship, in our family, and in other areas of our life. Lord, we thank you for the kindness of your close presence, Lord. Oh, Father, Lord, just your words says to, to Gideon when the angel of the Lord appeared to Gideon he said the Lord is with you that is Jehovah Emeka mighty warrior Lord we thank you Lord because you are with us this morning you are the Jehovah Emeka the Lord is with us we thank you Father for your presence oh Lord thank you mighty Father thank you Lord God Almighty our gracious Father we thank you because Father Lord just as you angel appeared to Gideon, O oh Lord, and you promised that, and told Gideon, you are, you are with him. That wasn't just a soothing statement to make him feel better. That was a powerful truth that would take Gideon to a new level of courage and lead him to a military conquest of unprecedented favor. O oh Lord, this morning we're asking your presence, O oh Lord, to give us confidence. Lord, it also gives us insight into how what and what the opposition is taking. Your presence is worth more than the presence of 30,000 strong warriors as you demonstrated in Gideon's battle. So, Father Lord, your presence is what we are asking, Lord, this morning. And you already promised, O oh Lord, that you will be with us. Thank you, Father, for your presence. Blessed be to your name. Lord, we know that when you presence, every darkness must have disappear because so oh lord the light shine and the darkness cannot comprehend it so father we thank you for the your presence in our life for your presence in our midst this morning thank you lord you are with us so oh lord and lord we, when you are with us as you were with gideon you make a way where we had no way to accomplish your will god gideon didn't have any training as a warrior and yet you ask him to lead an army a small army but still an army Lord, we ask with confidence of Gideon this morning for the assurance of your presence when we put out a fleece and then put it out again. Lord, take us to greater heights in our life and more valiant victories by reminding us of your strong presence and the power that comes from abiding with you. Lord, you promise that if we ask anything according to your will, you will give it to us. So, Father Lord, we ask boldly today for you to accomplish everything you desire to do and through our life, oh Lord. Lord, this is our prayer this morning. As we have come into your presence, Lord, that you will do, you will accomplish, that we should have ordained, that we should have planned in our life in the name of Jesus Christ. Blessed be to your name, Father, in the name of Jesus, because we know that you will do it, because you are holy God. You have promised you will never fail. Hallelujah be to your name, Lord. Thank you, mighty Father. Thank you, our Lord and our God. Holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. Our God is holy. That means it will not change. It will not lie. Thank you, Father. Your presence is with us this morning. We worship you. 
We adore you, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us sing to him this morning, just as the angel around the, the, the throne are singing, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord. Let us sing, Holy, holy, Lord God Almighty, this morning, in the name of Jesus Christ. Sing with me. before him this morning and ask him lord you are holy god if there's any iniquity in me anything oh lord that will not qualify me to appear before your presence this morning lord the blood of jesus christ cleanses us from all unrighteousness forgive me lord forgive me whatever you need to confess before the lord this morning he's a holy god and remember he knows everything so do not hide Lord, I have doubted. Lord, I have disobeyed. Lord, I have spoken against your creation. Lord, you know my heart. The thoughts that have passed through my heart. This morning, confess before the Lord. Forgive me, Lord. I'm sorry, Lord. I've allowed my eyes to behold things that are not holy. I've allowed my hand to touch things that are not holy. I've allowed my feet to go to where I'm not supposed to be. Lord, forgive me this morning. Wash me clean, oh Lord, mighty Father. This morning, have mercy, Lord. That of forgiveness I'm harboring in my heart, Lord, forgive me. Help me, Lord, to forgive those who have hurt me, those who have disappointed me, Lord this morning because your word say forgive us our debts 
as we forgive our debtors. Lord, I forgive those that have hurt me, those that have as they misaligned me. I forgive them this morning. I forgive those that need forgiveness for me, Lord. I forgive them. Forgive those that need forgiveness, Lord, this morning. Lord, I forgive them. I'm not holding anything back. I'm not holding any grudge back because you are holy God. Thank you, mighty Father. Thank you, my Lord and my God. You see, when we forgive, the Lord will arise and fight for us this morning. Lord, I forgive everyone. I forgive. Thank you, Father, for the forgiveness we receive through the blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah to your name, Lord. Thank you, Father. Glory, honor, and power be unto you. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen, amen. We're going straight to the word of God this morning because the psalm is a little bit long, but we're going to read it and then encourage ourselves with a few verses and then we pray with the psalms. The Lord said, is with us this morning. For those of us who came long, late, God, Jehovah, Emeka, the Lord is with us. The Lord is with us this morning. Hallelujah. So Psalm 9, please open your Bible to Psalm 9 and we will read it. For the director of music, to the tune of The Death of the Son, a Psalm of David. I will give thanks to you, Lord, with all my heart. I will tell of all your wonderful deeds. I will be glad and rejoice in you. I will sing the praises of your name, O Most High. My enemies turn back, they stumble and perish before you. For you have upheld my right and my cause, sitting enthroned as the righteous judge. You have rebuked the nations and destroyed the wicked. You have blotted out their name for ever and ever. Endless ruin has overtaken my enemies. You have uprooted their cities. Even the memory of them has perished. The Lord reigns forever. He has established His throne for judgment. He rules the world in righteousness and judges the peoples with equity. The Lord is a refuge for the oppressed, a stronghold in times of trouble. Those who know Your name trust in You, for You, Lord, have never forsaken those who seek You. Sing the praises of the Lord, enthroned in Zion. Proclaim among the nations what He has done. For he who avenges blood remembers. He does not ignore the cries of the afflicted. Lord, see how my enemies persecute me. Have mercy and lift me up from the gates of death, that I may declare your praises in the gates of daughter Zion, and there rejoice in your salvation. The nations have fallen into the pit they have dug. Their feet are caught in the net they have hidden. The Lord is known by His acts of justice. The wicked are ensnared by the work of their hands. The wicked go down to the realm of the dead, all the nations that forget God. But God will never forget the needy. The hope of the afflicted will never perish. Arise, Lord, do not let mortals triumph. Let the nations be judged in Your presence. Strike them with terror, Lord. Let the nations know they are only more. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless the hearing and the reading of his word. Amen. Amen. Quickly, I want us to observe some verses, which may be three verses, because it's a whole psalm, and the Lord will minister to us. First of all, we know that from verses one to three, David used it to praise the Lord. Even the inscription of that verse said, For the death of the Son, the death of the Son. But he started with praise, with giving thanks. Hallelujah. I'm going to dwell on verse 4 this morning. David called our attention to same thing. He said, For you have opened my cause, my right and my cause, sitting and thrown as the righteous judge. God is a judge, righteous judge. And Jesus is our advocate. And I keep saying it, whenever you have a case, 
take it to court. Because the righteous judge is sitting. Don't avenge yourself. No, don't take matters into your hand. Take it to court. You already have your lawyer. So it don't cost you anything. The only thing that it cost you is your time that you will spend in that courtroom. And you will know how case linger. So take your cause. Do not stop. Ask the judge, avenge me, judge. You are the righteous judge. That is one thing there. He said, God uphold our just cause. It's our vindicator. One who clears us from criticism and justice and justifies us before others. In this life, we may face many injustices. We may be falsely accused and misunderstood, or misunderstood by friends and enemies alike. We may not be truly appreciated by others for the love we show. The true value of our work and service may not be truly rewarded. Our ideas may be ignored, but God is to be praised, for he sees and remembers all the good we do. And it is up to him to decide the timing and the appropriateness of our reward. If we do not trust him to vindicate us, then we will be susceptible to hatred and self-pity, which is where the enemy wants us to be. If we do trust him, we can experience God's peace and be free from the worry of how others perceive us and treat us. Just remember, the Lord is sitting on the throne as the righteous judge. He sees everything. I call our attention going down to verse, uh, verse 10. It says, those who know your name trust in you. For you, Lord, have never forsaken those who seek you. It's amazing. How the first word that comes to us this morning is that I'm Jehovah Emeka. I am with you. Without question, David was a man of war. After all, this was the man who, as a strapping young teenager, slew Goliath, the gigantic champion of the Philistine. Later, David left King Saul's army as they charged into battle with the enemies of Israel. So eventually, when David became king, he secured Israel's borders and greatly expanded his territory through conquest. David knew a few things about bloodshed and war. He had more than a few enemies. Therefore, we should not be surprised that the language of warfare and talk of enemies and destruction should appear in the psalm that David wrote. He wrote, sang, and spoke of the things he knew and experienced. See, he is a transparent man. And God wants us to be transparent with him. He was personally involved in life and death struggles. Consequently, he was a man of violence. He lived, you know, and survived through violent times. So whatever you are going through is not strange to God. That is why when you come to the throne room in the presence of your father, be free. Know what is going on. Pray according to how you are feeling. How painful it is. Let him know. But one thing with David is that David loved God. You see, sometimes reconciling the slay my enemy David with the Lord is my shepherd David is difficult. It's as though two contradictory Davids live in one body. But then, I look at myself, 
deep within myself. Am I any different? Are you any different? We know that someday the Lord is my shepherd, everything is going on easy. But another day is war. There are more than a few contradictory elements at work within me. The real warfare is within the human spirit. Will I yield to the spirit of God or to the foul spirit of this world and my own selfish pride? That is the conflict that is going on every day within us. You want to pray, that is a no. Don't pray. Look at your phone. Scroll down. Scroll up. And by the time you know, the time is gone. That is the warfare. The real warfare that we face. Like David, I simply need God. You and I, all we need, we need God. We need to praise and exalt him over all else. And when we do, we gain perspective. The right perspective. With David, we can say, those who know your name trust in you. For you, Lord, have never forsaken those who seek you. So my brothers and my sisters, praise him, seek him, along with David. We can testify that God has owed us, uphold us through difficult times. And let us ask him to be the master, the master within, within us. Be the master with him. So have you yielded to the Lord? Is he winning the warfare within you? Is he winning the warfare within you? I want us to look at verse 16 again. It said, the Lord is known by his act of justice. The wicked are ensnared by the work of their hands. If only life were easy. If only life was just and fear. But we know it's not like that. Life is filled with struggles and difficulties. So, if the source of your affliction is human, why do we blame God? We need to always keep verse 16 of this psalm in mind. The Lord is known by his act of justice. In this life, we may not always see God's justice prevail, but rest assured, on that great final day, it will prevail. Ultimately, his justice will be seen and known by all. In times of trouble, God is our source of help and strength. Who my help may fail us. Friends may let us down. We can wrongly blame the Lord for our trouble. Or we can run to him for help. In all our troubles, we must keep this promise in mind. But God will never forget the needy. The hope of the afflicted will not perish. That is verse 18. And that is where I will stop before we start praying. Remember. God will never forget the needy. The hope of the afflicted will not perish. Hallelujah. This morning, let us thank him. Let us thank the Lord. That Lord, in time of struggle, you are my help. I thank you, Father. Thank you, my Lord, for in time of trouble, you are my help. I bless your holy name. Thank you, Father God. Let us begin with that praise. Praise that we praise with this morning. That God, I praise you, Lord God Almighty, with my whole heart. I tell all of your marvelous work, Lord, I praise you. You are so good to me. Though I wonder, you remain faithful. You are a faithful God. 
Though I indulge in the flesh, you woo me with your spirit. You are both just and kind. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, for your kindness, for your goodness, your fairness, and your amazing love for me. Thank you. Thank him this morning. Though I have no offering worth to bring to you, you receive me anyway. Thank you, Father. You come and you find me when I wander far away from you. Though I am ungrateful, for your chastisements. I do see them at work in me. You are completing the good work you have begun in me. You are purifying my heart and my mind. You are making me more like your son, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you this morning. Let us thank him this morning. He's ever faithful God. And that psalm that says, those who know your name, we put their trust in you. For you, Lord, have not forsaken those who seek you. Sing praises to the Lord who dwells in Jalan. Declare his deed among the people. Praise him this morning. That Lord, you have blessed me. You have never forsaken me. And you will never. You will never will. You receive all who seek your face. Father, let my thanks be evidence in my life. Let my tongues be evident in my life. Prompt my heart to sing your praises everywhere I go. Ask him this morning. Lord, my Father, my desire, Lord, this morning, that my tongues will be evident in my life. Prompt my heart to sing your praises everywhere I go. Let my light shine before all men that you might receive the glory. Lord, let my light shine before all men that you might receive the glory. Don't let me just sing your praises at church, but help me to sing from the rooftop. Oh, mighty Father. Some of us, it's only when we come to church that we sing. Oh, mighty Father God. Don't let me just sing praises at church, but at the rooftop, let me make known. Let my voice be heard. Give me the boldness to speak of your great blessings to everyone who will hear. Oh, Father Lord, give me boldness to speak of your great blessings to everyone who will hear. Take away my pride, Father Lord. Take away my pride, Lord. Do not let me be self-conscious, but help me to be eternally conscious. Father, do not let me be self-conscious, but help me to be eternally conscious. Keep my eyes on heaven and put joy in my heart that I cannot bear, but to share it with this lost world. Oh, mighty Father God, I pray this morning. Keep my eyes on heaven and put a joy in my heart that I cannot bear, but to share it with this lost world. Be glorified, Lord. Be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, be glorified in my life in the name of Jesus. And if we move down to verse 13 and 14, where he say, have mercy on me, O Lord. You can just turn it into a prayer. Verse 13 and 14. Have mercy on me, O Lord. Consider my trouble from those who hate me. Consider my trouble. Father, Lord, this morning, I lift up my voice unto you. I say, have mercy. Oh, Lord, consider my trouble from those who hate me. You will lift me up from the gate of death. I will not die in this condition. Lord, if you are sick this morning, tell the Lord, you will lift me up from the gate of death. That I may tell of all your praise in the gates of the daughter of Zion. I will rejoice in your salvation, Lord. I will rejoice in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray this morning that, Lord, let me never forget that you do not just bless me, 
so that I may be full, but you do so that you may be glorified. Father, Lord, let me never forget that you, 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 you never, you do not just bless me to be full, but you do so that you may be glorified, that your name may be hallowed. Lord, continue to bless me and walk in my life. Lord, continue to bless me and walk in my life that I may bless you. Hear all my prayer, Lord. All my prayers, Lord, that your name may be lifted up. Hear my cry, mighty Father, that, oh Lord, your name be lifted up. Show your great mercy to me so that I will rejoice in your salvation and shout it from the truth top. Father God, show your great mercy to me. You are God of mercy. I do not deserve it, but I'm asking for mercy. Lord, show your great mercy to me so that I will rejoice in your salvation and shout it from the rooftops. Our God saves that you will shout it, that you are amazing, Lord. Your mercies are forever. Let this words always be on my lips. Our God saves. You are amazing. Your mercies are forever. Let this words always be in my mouth. You are amazing, God. You are worthy of my praise, Lord. You are amazing. Lord, continue to bless me and walk in my life that I may bless you. Show your great mercy to me so that I will rejoice in your salvation and shout it from the rooftop. Our God saves. Hallelujah. Our God saves. Amen. Verse 18 said, For the needy shall not always be forgotten. The expectation of the poor shall not perish forever. Hmm. Father Lord, sometimes it's hard for us to look around at the pain and suffering of this world. In our finite understanding, wonder how long, O oh Lord, will you allow this to continue? But we already know that the poor, the hungry, and the persecuted will not always be that way. That for the, for the time being, sin is in the world. And mankind will suffer from the result of sin. But very soon, you will come for us. You are coming quickly. And you will put an end to sin and suffering. You will wipe away every tears and create a new heavens and a new heart. One where sin will reign no more, and we, your children, will never be hungry, but will be forever at your feet. Lord, we long for that day. We long to see your glory and perfection. But until that day, let us pray that, Lord, until that day, use me to accomplish your will here on earth. Let your kingdom come, and let your will be done. The day is coming, brothers and sisters, when there will be no more pain, when there will be no more sorrow. But this world, if they don't know Christ, we know it's going to continue for them. But let us pray this morning that, my dear Father God, that you put an end to my pain and to my sorrow, to my difficulty, to my limitation, to my stagnation. And that, Father Lord, until that day that you will come, Use me to accomplish your will here on earth, Lord. Let your kingdom come and your will be done. And begin it in my life, O Lord God Almighty. Begin it in my family, Lord God Divine. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done on earth, O Lord. And let that begin with me. Oh, Lord, my Father, let that begin with my children. Let that begin with my spouse, oh, Lord. Let that begin with my household, oh, God Almighty. Let your will be done on that, oh, Lord. But, Father, I want to be a vessel of honor. Will you surrender to the Lord this morning? Surrender yourself to the Lord. And let him have his way in your life, in your household. That, Lord, let your kingdom come. 
Let your will be done, Father God. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. Thank you, Lord God Almighty. Father, I will always praise you and worship you with my whole heart. Thank you, Father. I receive in the name of Jesus. Let us begin to receive. Power to show forth your marvelous work. I receive now in the name of Jesus Christ. I receive power to show forth your marvelous work. I receive now in the name of Jesus Christ. Make my family a channel and means to show forth your marvelous work. Oh Lord, my Father, make my family a channel and a means to show forth your marvelous work in the name of Jesus Christ. Help me, Lord, to be glad and to always rejoice in every situation of life. Father, Lord, help me, Lord, to be glad and to always rejoice in every situation of life. I receive grace to sing your praises every moment of my life. I receive the grace to sing praises for every moment of my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us ask the Lord this morning that my Father, by your fire, let my enemies turn back in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, my Father, let my enemies turn back. These enemies of progress, let them turn back. That's enemies that don't want me to go. Father Lord, let my enemies turn back. In the name of Jesus Christ. And let them begin to fall by your fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let them begin to fall, Lord. Let all those seeking for my life and my family perish in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God Almighty, according to your word, let them perish. Let all those seeking for my life and my family, let them perish by your fire, by your thunder, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, plead my cause and intervene in my situation, Lord. Plead my cause, O oh Lord. You are the righteous judge. Plead my cause, Father Lord. Plead the cause of my children and intervene in every situation they are facing. This morning, Father Lord, plead their cause and intervene in this situation for them. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are the righteous judge. Arise today and judge all my enemies according to their wickedness, O oh Lord. Father, you are the righteous judge. Arise, Lord, and judge them this morning. I drag them to your courtroom. Mighty Father God, this witchcraft, household witchcraft, I drag you to the courtroom of the Almighty this morning. Begin to drag them to the courtroom this morning. You are in front of the judge this morning. Present your case. These enemies of progress, I drag you to the courtroom of the Almighty this morning. This enemy that will not let me go, I drag you to the courtroom of the Almighty this morning. Envious witchcraft, I drag you to the courtroom of the Almighty. Marie witchcraft, I drag you to the courtroom of the Almighty this morning. Father Lord, they are in your presence. You are the righteous judge. Judge them. Ask the Lord to judge them this morning. Lord, rebook all my adversary by fire today in the name of Jesus Christ. Mighty Father God, rebook my adversary in the name of Jesus Christ. Rebook them, Lord, in the name of Jesus, and destroy all the wicked ones and put them to total shame in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, destroy all the wicked ones and put them to total shame. Frustrate their plan. Frustrate them this morning, Lord, in my family. Frustrate them concerning my children, concerning my children's destiny. Frustrate every plan of the wicked one. Lord God Almighty, frustrate them and put them to shame. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every stronghold and city 
of the wicked ones. Let the fire of God begin to consume now. In the name of Jesus Christ, Heavenly Father, let your fire, your consuming fire, destroy all the strongholds and cities of the wicked ones. In the name of Jesus Christ, O oh Lord my Father, this morning, let your consuming fire destroy all the strongholds and cities of the wicked one. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray that my Father be my refuge in times of trouble. Hide me from the oppressors. Oh Lord, my Father, be my refuge in times of trouble. Hide me, Jehovah. Hide me, Lord, Jehovah, Emeka. Hide me. God is with us. Hide me this morning. Hide my children. Hide my family. In the name of Jesus Christ. Verse 12 said, for he who avenges blood remembers. He does not ignore the cries of the afflicted. Yes, Lord, you remember. Pray that, Lord, this morning, remember me. Remember me. Don't let my humble cry against blood inquisitors go unnoticed. Lord, remember me. Because your words say, you who avenges blood remembers. He does not ignore the cries of the afflicted. Lord God Almighty, remember me this morning. Remember my household this morning. Father Lord, remember. Let my humble cry against blood inquisitors go unnoticed. Don't let it go unnoticed, Lord. Remember. In the name of Jesus Christ. Verse 30 said, The Lord See how my enemies persecute me. Have mercy and lift me up from the gate of death. I don't know what you are going through. David knew what he was going through. And he mentioned it to God. So mention it to God. Lord, you know what I'm going through. This is what I'm going through. Let your mercy lift me up from the gate of death. Let your mercy lift my children. From the gate of death, either spiritual or physical, Lord God Almighty, this morning, let your mercy lift each and every one of us from the gate of death. In the name of Jesus Christ. Anything that the enemy have taken from our life and they have buried our potential, our virtues, O oh Lord Mighty Father, this morning, that will restore it back to us, O oh Lord. And it will take us out. Lift us out from the gate of death. Everything they have put to death in our life, in our children's life, this morning. Lord, in your mercy, lift us up. Lift our children up. Every marriage they are put to death. Lord God Almighty, lift that marriage up this morning from the gate of death. Any business they have put at the gate of death this morning. Father, Lord, leave that business out of the gate of death. In the name of Jesus Christ, in your mercy, Lord, lift us up. In the name of Jesus Christ, deliver us from the hand of them that hate us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you are our deliverer. Lord, deliver us this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ. Verse 16 says, Lord, let your sweet judgment come upon those walking wickedness against me. And let them be snared in their wickedness. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let them be snared in their wickedness. In the mighty name of Jesus. Verse 19 said, Arise, Lord, do not let mortal triumph. Let the nations be judged in your presence. Pray this morning, Father God. Let no man be able to prevail against me all the days of my life. Oh Lord, my Father, let no man be able to prevail against me all the days of my life. And lastly, he said, strike them with terror, Lord. Let the nations know that they are only mortals. Pray that this morning, my Father, as men fear thunder and lightning, let my fear fall upon my enemies. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. As men fear thunder and lightning, let my fear fall upon my enemies in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, that evil just hearing my name alone, it will send them trembling in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God, we thank you again. Once again, we thank you. Jehovah Emeka. The Lord is with us, mighty warrior. Thank you, Father, for fighting for us. Thank you, Lord, for victory is ours in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Glory, honor, and power be unto him. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Let us continue with our intercessory. Amen. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. This morning we are interceding for business. Hallelujah. We are praying for business breakthrough this morning. And the Lord will hear us. If you are a business owner on this prayer platform, as you pray for your business, pray for businesses of others too. In the name of Jesus. If you are looking to start a business, pray as well. In the name of Jesus, if we know the business name, let us call that business name and speak the word of God, the word of life into that business this morning. In the name of Jesus, we are going to pray for God's will in all businesses. In the name of Jesus. So according to Jeremiah 29, 11, let us pray this morning that Father, Lord, continue your plans to prosper this business, this ABCD business, mention that business name in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, on this prayer platform this morning, we are lifting up businesses, O Lord God, for breakthrough. So, Lord, we ask in the name of Jesus that you continue your plans here, your plan to prosper, your plan of good uh, on all businesses, O Lord God, and that there will be no harm on all businesses in the mighty name of Jesus, O Lord God. Lord, O Lord God, that your plan for hope and the future, a brighter future, O Lord God, even beyond their expectation on the businesses, O Lord God. Oh, Father, Lord, this is what we pray for this morning. All in your will, O Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus, let us pray in the name of Jesus. That God of peace, you know, will equip uh, all the businesses, uh, will equip uh, every good thing, oh Lord God. He will bring his will and his work uh, in all businesses in a way that is pleasing to him alone. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, the rose pray this morning, in the mighty name of Jesus. That even as we look unto God, as we are his, his disciple, in the mighty name of Jesus, eh, that the Lord will remind that eh, all business owners eh, daily, 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 every day, every minute, every waking moment of their life, that the Lord will remind them oh, that, oh, Lord God, that whoever is their disciple, that they must deny themselves and take up their crosses eh, to follow God, eh, follow God even with their businesses, eh, even in the words of their mouth, eh, even in preaching the word to people, oh Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus, let us pray this morning as we lift businesses up in the mighty name of Jesus, that every ignorance eh, in the mighty name of Jesus, eh, that the, every ignorance in their life, oh Lord God, will be shaken out of their lives, eh? shaking out of their businesses eh? in the mighty name of Jesus. Eh? Let us pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Because the Lord is not slow in keeping his promises. Eh? So let us pray in the name of Jesus eh? that the Lord will oh go will be patient with all business owners in the mighty name of Jesus. And as the Lord is patient with them, the Lord will help them to be patient even with their customers in the name of Jesus, even with their staffs that work for them in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, Lord, we thank you. Lord, will bless your holy name this morning in the name of Jesus. Let us pray for business owners this morning that God will help them to do God's will even in their businesses, eh, that God will help them to act justly, to love and to have mercy and to walk humbly with God, eh, even through their businesses in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, let us pray this morning that even as this one day, as they transact businesses, oh Lord God, Lord, that God will help them 
to persevere and to do the will of God, that they will not cut corners, uh, they will not do shady businesses uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, that the Lord will help them to persevere and do the will of God uh, in the mighty name, so that they can receive that promise that the Lord has promised them through that business uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray in the mighty name of Jesus that it is only the plan of God that will prevail in their businesses, eh, in the mighty name of Jesus, that through their businesses, so this owner, they will seek God's kingdom force and his righteousness eh, in the mighty name of Jesus, so that every other thing, eh, every other thing, even the ones they are not looking forward to, will be granted unto them through their businesses. Eh. In the mighty name of Jesus, let us pray this morning for guidance, you know, that the Lord will guide, you know, all these business owners uh, in their businesses, uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, let us pray that the Lord will instruct them, the Lord will teach them the way they should go in the name of Jesus, uh, that the Lord will cancel them in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, that the counsel of the Lord will always be upon them in the name of Jesus, let us pray for the power of the Holy Spirit, that God will fill them with the Holy Spirit so that they can be guided uh, in all truth, uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, so that they can hear when the Lord is speaking to them concerning that business, uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, so that they will only hear God uh, in the name of Jesus, even for what is yet to come for their business, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, Lord, we thank you this morning. Lord, we are worshiping your holy name this morning, even for all these business owners, oh, Lord God. Thank you, Father, Lord. Thank you for the divine vision that you have for them in the name of Jesus to go into business. So, Father, as we lift all these businesses up before you this morning, Lord, we are asking that you do your will, eh, even in the lives of the owners, eh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Eh. Oh, Father, we give you praise, oh, Lord God, that as we lift these businesses up, oh, Lord God, Father, your light will shine upon this business eh? in the mighty name of Jesus. Eh? Your mighty hand will be upon all these businesses eh? in the mighty name of Jesus. Eh? And this business will stand out eh? to your glory in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, from the north, from the south, from the east, from the west, eh? Lord, you will bring clients, eh? you will bring customers, eh? you will bring divine helper even unto these businesses eh? in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, Lord, we thank you this morning. Lord will bless your holy name this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, let us pray in the name of Jesus that these ones, the owners of these businesses, eh, help them, oh Lord God. They'll be wise by listening and just listening to you alone in the mighty name of Jesus. Let them get guidance. Eh? Let them grow in discerning in the mighty name of Jesus that the spirit of discernment eh, that the Lord will grant unto them eh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Eh? Let us pray, oh Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus, that the, as the Lord guides them, oh Lord God, that the Lord will satisfy their needs eh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Eh? The Lord will strengthen them, strengthen their business eh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray that the Lord will turn all these businesses eh, into a world that is watered, eh? very watered. You know, when you water your garden, how, how the, 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 the flower blooms on eh? Pray this morning for all businesses, oh Lord God, that oh Lord God, these businesses will be well, will be a well water garden in the mighty name of Jesus. Eh? And like spring, eh, whose waters never fail eh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Eh? Oh Father Lord, we thank you this morning for all businesses in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray that all these business owners, eh, that the Lord God will keep them humble, that they will be humble in the mighty name of Jesus. Eh. Oh, Father, Lord, keep them humble. Keep them humble in the name of Jesus. Let us pray that, Father, Lord, eh, in the name of Jesus, eh, he will keep all these owners, eh, the, their demands, oh, Lord God. It will be of you, of, of God's covenant, eh, in the mighty name of Jesus, that even as the business grows, eh, that the Lord will guide them always to God's way in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray for them that their trust will only be in God and not in their own understanding. They will not lean in their own understanding. They will not lean in their own knowledge of things they know in the name of Jesus. It does not matter how long they've been in that business. 
pray for this money that they will trust in the Lord only and not in their own understanding. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, let us pray in the mighty name of Jesus that in all of their ways uh, that the Lord will help them, that they will submit to the Lord, uh, you know, in every part of their businesses uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we thank you this morning. Lord, we bless your holy name this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray for them that no matter what the situation is, uh, that they will keep trusting God uh, for their business uh, and even for their own life in the name of Jesus. Uh, you know, the psalmist says, uh, oh God, when I'm afraid, I will put my trust in you. So let us pray this morning. You know, there are times, times will come. Business might be shaky. You know, they might have no businesses and they are thinking, have I done the right thing? Have I this? Have I that? Oh, let us pray for them this morning that when such a time will come, when such a time that they are afraid, when such a time that their mind is not settled, that, that they will put their trust in the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. Because the word of God says those that put their trust in the Lord will never be put to shame. So let us pray for all business owners this morning that they would learn to put their trust in the Lord even when they are afraid in the name of Jesus, that they will put their trust in the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus and they will never be put to shame. In in the mighty name of Jesus, eh? and that even that afraid they will turn it might be anxiety, it might be fear of unknown, eh? but because the word of God told us that the Lord has not given us the spirit of fear. So, at such a time, let us pray that their trust will be solidified in the Lord God Almighty, in the mighty name of Jesus, eh? that they will trust the Lord enough to commit to Him. You know, in all things, in whatever they are doing concerning their businesses, eh? in the mighty name of Jesus, let us pray in the name of Jesus eh? that the Lord will show them the way to go, even at such period, at such moment. Eh? that the Lord will speak to them, eh? that the Lord will show them the way to go because they have entrusted their life, their business into his hand. Eh? He will show them the way. He will show them the way to go. In the mighty name of Jesus, let us pray that at such a time like that, eh? that the Lord will help them to live by faith and not by sight. Eh? In the mighty name of Jesus, eh? ah, that, that concerning whatever that situation is, eh? that is making them to be anxious, that is making them to be afraid that, that at such a time eh, in the name of Jesus the Lord will help them that they will live by faith eh, in the name of Jesus and not by sight eh, not by this that situation not by what they are thinking of that situation because the Lord will turn it around for their good eh, in the mighty name of Jesus eh. oh Father Lord we thank you Lord will bless your holy name this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. God, because you are near to all who call on you. So, Father, Lord, help us this morning. Help all our businesses on us. Help all our businesses that we are lifting up to you this morning to trust you and to call on you all the times, always, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, Lord, we thank you. We bless your holy name this morning because fear will not dominate their life in the mighty name of Jesus. Because fear of man will prove to be a snare in the name of Jesus. But whosoever trusts in the Lord is kept safe. That is in the book of Proverbs. So because this one's all Lord God, Father, Lord, they are kept, oh Lord God, in you, Lord, they will be safe, their businesses will be safe. Eh? So, Father, Lord, we pray this morning that you will help all our businesses owners, oh Lord God, take any of their fear away, transfer it to nothing but truth in you, Father, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we thank you this morning. We give you all the praise, honor, and adoration because you will meet all their needs, all their businesses needs eh? according to your riches, oh Lord God, in Christ Jesus. Lord, Lord, we thank you. Lord, remind them, oh Lord God, every day of their lives, oh Lord God, that you will do this for them, that you will meet all their needs eh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, to you alone be all the glory this morning. To you alone be all the honor and adoration. Lord, we worship you. We adore you. Thank you, righteous Father. To you, Father Lord, we return our thanks for all businesses this morning in the name of Jesus. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen, amen, amen.